Before you watch this video, please make sure to go to my channel and click on playlists. Then from the playlist, select Forex Scalping Strategies. Click on the Scalping Keep Strategies and then you will find here one video called the best Forex Scalping Strategy explained in details along with Forex Price Action. Please watch these two videos in order to understand the strategy that you are about to watch in this live trading video. Hello and welcome on this new trading session video from Extreme Trader. This is Sela speaking. So actually guys, I'm going to share with you today my scalping session and actually I'm focusing here on the gold, which seems like it's actually providing us with a very promising and decent setup. Now, of course, um, I'm applying the same 20 pips a day strategy on this video. So again, those who want to learn this uh, strategy, please go to my channel guys and look for the playlists and from there try to find the uh, 20, pips, uh, 20 pips a day strategy is gonna tell you exactly what I'm going to do in this live trading video and what's, what the strategy exactly am I using. Now, uh, now of course, uh, for the gold, uh, I will explain to you later, of course, the reason behind of this trade, but for the gold, I cannot go with 1.1 load size. We have to go with 0 0.50, should be fine. We have to be very careful when we are trading the gold because it's very risky and uh, it's very fast uh, pair and of course high in volatility and therefore it actually might um, um, blow the account if you keep trading with the big lot size, if you are using a small account like mine. Uh, those who are actually who are trading in hundreds of thousands of dollars, they can go with a bigger lot size than that. Anyway, uh, I'm th I think I'm going to place a sell order right now. This is going to be the perfect level to start shorting. And I think, yes, bad, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, good. So we can risk about $84 only, which is really fine fantastic and aiming about 100 dollars um as you can see guys what i'm focusing at is the amount of money that i'm risking and the one the, the amount that i'm actually willing to earn uh um, i don't really care about how, how, how many pips is that that is going to be about 17 pips but what I, what I really care for is the setup right here and that level of resistance and of course the amount of money that i can gain from this trade which is going to be approximately 100 dollars okay good so uh welcome of course on this uh, trading uh, uh, session video from extreme trader and uh, right here i am guys i'm going to explain to you the reason behind of this trade now first things first as i said earlier if you guys want to learn more about this strategy please go to my channel and learn about the 20 pips a day but however uh, i'm going to give you a brief about the reason behind of this trade now what we are having right here is of course a real level of a resistance exactly at 1815.83 now we can see right here that that level of a resistance has instantly been broken out from with that bur uh, bullish breakout candle but the next candle has actually been a bearish one which means that level of a resistance has not been respected which means we have actually ended up right here with a fake breakout now the rules of the resistance and support as well says if you have a real level of a resistance and then faced a fake breakout like that and you see the market rises again to reach the same level of the real resistance then most likely this is right here is going to be a good idea to start shorting the market because this is right here is going to be the level where the market is going to actually be respecting those levels of a resistance and most likely is going to reverse exactly on the same price that is ex exactly what i'm doing right here now the resistance level uh, lies exactly right here at 1815.83 and right now the market is exactly right on that level and right here we have here the fake breakout now how we do how do you know it's a fake breakout because simply the market did not create here a new support based on the uh, broken level of a resistance which means this was a fake breakout and now we can expect from the gold to actually continue the fall so that being said that's the reason it's really simple and straightforward setup and that was the reason i decided to open here the sell order now for the stop loss the stop loss has actually been placed above that level of a resistance since we are actually relying mainly on that level of a resistance right here and we cannot actually expect from the market to continue the rise to reach uh, to, till it reach that level of a resistance and for the take profit level however it has been placed of course right here at the nearest support to my entry which is exactly right here now I am seeing so many comments telling me how do you identify the, re or the nearest support or resistance. Well, let me just tell you something. So I have placed here my sell order as we can see. 
uh, assuming that this is going to be a resistance number one. Now, where is the nearest support or resistance to this entry? Let's take a look. So right now, from this, if I want to draw here a triangle, uh, a rectangle, we can see right here that the market actually might continue the fall. Now, where is the first support that this candle is going to be facing? Right here. That's going to be the nearest support that the market is going to be facing. Next support is going to be right here. The next support is going to be right there. So meaning we have ended up with one, two, and three attempts of a support. Uh, there is a fourth attempt here if you want. Um, however, which one of these, number one, number two, number three, number four, which one of these is going to be the first that the market will visit before reaching the others? Obviously, number one here, and that's the reason that uh, is considered actually as the nearest support to my entry. So that's the reason we have placed here our take profit level. And so far, everything is going well. Uh, the trade is still ranging on the entry. However, let's just wait and see what will going to happen. So let me know, please stop the recording. And I'll be back to you later to show you what will going to happen with this trade. And the take profit level has been hit. Actually, I missed it. I was, to be honest with you, I was far from my screen and I came back and suddenly I found the take profit level been hit. Actually, we have made more than $102 profit from this signal or this trade. Sorry. Fantastic and good beginning of the uh, session. Now let's move to the next trade. Now the account is $2,800. Uh, I hope by the end of this session we can reach uh, $3,000. Uh, uh, increase the lot size to be 1.2 lot size. And let's now... Uh, see what we can do next in the market. Of course, guys, I'm going to rely on two strategies mainly. Uh, number one is the 20 pips a day strategy. And the second uh, strategy is going to be the sniper. Of course, those who don't know the, the sniper strategy, please go to my channel, guys, and you will find one video there called the sniper. The easiest and best forex strategy is going to explain to you in a brief um the technique or the rules of this strategy is so powerful, it's so profitable, and it's yeah, so easy. And then let me know, please, again, guys, pause the recording, and I'll be back to you later to show you. Oh, wait a minute, I can stay with you guys. Uh, this is actually a very similar setup to the gold. Right there. As we can see right here exactly, lies the nearest support level to that bearish breakout candle and right there the real level of the resistance is most likely going to be respected very similar similar to the gold setup we are having here of course um a real level of a resistance then we had here the fake breakout and right now the same level of the resistance or the real level of the resistance is most likely going to be respected once again and then we can place here the sell order and once we do that, the take profit level has got to be placed right here. This is, of course, the nearest support to our entry. Meanwhile, the safe zone shouldn't actually, actually the stop loss, sorry, should be placed right here at the peak of the resistance at 0.6265. Since we are actually mainly relying on that level of the resistance. So meaning this setup is completed and is perfect. Um, we just have to wait for the market to rise for about uh, three pips only, meaning we're actually expecting hmm, seven pips only, seven pips. 7 pips, 7 pips, then we can actually increase the lot size to be 1.6, not a problem at all. Okay then, let's now just wait for the candle to, ri to raise again, to, sorry, to, to, raise, to rise again, to reach that level of resistance, and after that I will place the sell order. Until then, let me now please pause the recording, and I'll be back to you later. And indeed, the AUD CHF has rose again and reached that level of resistance. Now is the best time to place the sell order, and don't be late, don't be late, don't be late, don't be late, fantastic. Um, uh, well, actually, uh, the stop loss is going to be about $144, which is actually convenient. Meanwhile, the uh, take profit level is going to be about six pips, equ equivalent to $101 of profit. Now, let me just tell you something. I'm totally aware that there will be actually a lot of uh, criticism that this is not trading, this is gambling. Guys, I have been trading this way for more than six years. Wait a minute. 2018. Um, almost five years guys or almost six years even I have been trading this way and trust me it has been so profitable to me and I'm actually living making a living from trading this way you might think it's gambling because you didn't experience it you didn't actually try it you didn't actually uh, give it enough try maybe you tried it for one time or two times and you failed 
and you decided that this way is bad and it's not profitable however once you actually master this kind of trading trust me it's gonna be so profitable i believe strongly that forex is so beautiful forex is so profitable and forex is really reliable and those who have actually failed in trading forex they are actually either uh, rushing in making profits and they are expecting let me just tell you actually i think they are actually mainly uh how can i say this in a good way they're actually tricked with these commercials about forex traders uh who take videos that they are in, living in the mansion and driving the fanciest cars the lamborghini the bugatti whatever you name it and they think that this is the kind of life that i can get from trading forex well the the truth is actually far from this i can make a living from forex but i'm not super mega tons rich i'm not actually living in any, any mansion i don't have that fancy cars i don't have a private jet i don't actually live that super fancy life that you are actually expecting i am just making what's enough for me to survive with my family here um and of course what we are actually we can get from our daily needs and that's it so therefore those who are actually failing in forex they are the, the people who actually think that they can actually invest a hundred dollars to become a ten thousand of dollars in just one single day those who actually who cannot accept any losses at all these are the people who are actually failing in forex and they think that this uh, kind of trading is gambling and you know what they can say whatever they want to they have the freedom to speak they have the freedom to make any comment they want i don't give a damn since i'm actually living from this way and i'm actually um putting food on my family's table do, doing this kind of trading so anyway guys sorry for the bad speech anyway let me know please again stop the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with this trade and as i told you guys the trade has actually been running in profit and as you can see the market has indeed respected that level of a resistance as i have stated earlier that's the power of 20 pips a day strategy and it's almost there near the take profit level just like less than a pip far away 60 dollars of profit it's gonna take it and end it yo if i let it to be running more it's okay guys um 60 dollars is really good uh, profit from this trade that's totally fine we have made actually appro approximately six or seven pips pro uh, profit from this trade which was really good and to be honest with you frankly speaking i didn't really feel good uh to increase the lot size this much um on a small pips um i think uh 1.2 should be fine right now and hopefully we can find another trade so anyway um let me just tell you something guys one second honestly speaking i really wanted to trade more but the news gonna hit the market very soon uh just actually actually after one minute right now it's 5 14 pm dubai time after 10 seconds uh the non-farm employment change is gonna hit the market i'm not expecting actually a lot of impact on it let me just see, uh, let's let's see together uh this is the euro usd let's check together if there is gonna be any impact on the market with this news um yes the time has begun has come already and as you can see uh just a small impact it's not really a big thing however uh soon actually gonna be uh the bank of canada rate statement and mr jerome paul is gonna make uh, another testimony and therefore guys um i prefer to end it right now i really don't want to continue trading uh, until the news are out and until we see what, what will gonna happen in the market i will try my best to make another live trading video tonight if everything was going well if not maybe tomorrow but i will make sure that i will continue providing you guys with these trading sessions i am sure they're gonna help you to improve and to be uh, better in your scalping uh, trades so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching